you know, I think of people like Enoch. Let me just mention this about, there were two people who were raptured in the Old Testament. That means taken up alive to heaven. A picture of how we'll be taken up when Jesus comes again. God's given us a glimpse of that in the Old Testament of two people who didn't die. And I say, I tell you honestly, I'm, I'm not planning to die. I expect to live when Jesus comes. I hope you do too. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. That Christ will come and I will be taken up alive to meet him in the air. And I believe that we should all have that goal. I think I'll have that goal even if I'm 100 years old. The sky, not the grave, is our goal. You remember that song we sing? It is well with my soul, well with my soul, it is well, it is well with my soul. And one line of it says, the sky, not the grave, is our goal. I'm not like those, some, even some believers, old people who say, oh, I want to die, I want to go. I don't want to die, I'll tell you that. I'm not going to say that even when I'm 90 years old. I'm waiting for Jesus to come. I'm waiting for, not because I love this rotten old world, but because there are a lot of people on this earth who need to hear about Jesus. There are a lot of Christians who need to live an overcoming life. For their sake, I want to live. I hope you want to live for that sake too. Not for any other reason. So the sky is our goal. But think of two examples God's given us in the Old Testament of Enoch and Elijah. And there's something we can learn from them on how to be ready for the rapture. We believe that the trumpet will sound and the skies will open, Jesus will descend from heaven with multitudes of angels and the graves will be opened and all those who died there trusting in him will rise with resurrection bodies and we who are alive, it's going to be a wonderful day and uh, it'll be like lightning, the whole earth will see it and I'll be taken up straight up immediately this rotten old body will be transformed into a body just like his and brothers and sisters you're not going to be taken up and God's given us an example of two men in the Old Testament who were taken up learn from them to be ready to be taken up let's look at Enoch first it says about Enoch in Genesis chapter 5 that for 65 years he lived a wayward life. He didn't care for God. Enoch, verse 21, he lived for 65 years and then he had a child called Methuselah. I want to tell you something that happened at the birth of Methuselah which is not written in scripture but which I derive from what I see here. We're supposed to meditate on scripture. The word Methuselah means at his death, it will come. That is the judgment. That means when Enoch was 65 years old, he got the Lord, when his child was born, he never had any children for 65 years, and the child was born, he got some revelation from God. When this child dies, I'm going to judge the world. That shook up Enoch. I hope it shakes you and me up when, I, when God says this world is going to be judged. Do you believe the world is going to be judged? I believe it. The rotten sin that there is going on in the world was there in Enoch's time too. And so he began to take it seriously. And it says from that day he walked with God for 300 years. Next verse. And then one day he walked with God and he, he lived a normal life. He didn't become a hermit. It says here he lived a normal family life. He had sons and daughters. After that, he lived with his wife. He had children. He was a good father. He brought up his children well. And then one day, verse 24, he just went up to heaven. God took him. He walked with God and God took him. But before God took him, Hebrews 11 Verse 6 tells us, Hebrews 11, verse 6, verse 5, sorry. Enoch was taken up by faith. How did he get raptured? By faith. Lord, I trust you. He was taken up and he had this testimony that he pleased God. 
before he was taken up. And that's the testimony that you and I need to have. That you have pleased God in this earthly life. That's what we got to learn from Enoch. And what did Enoch preach? One John, uh, Jude, the book of Jude in verse 14 and 15. Enoch was a preacher. He was the first preacher mentioned in the Bible. What did he preach? He preached judgment. He says, I see the Lord coming with ten thousands of holy ones. He's speaking about the second coming of the Lord before the first coming of Christ. Imagine a man who prophesied the second coming of Christ before Christ had come even once. That was Enoch. He says, I see the Lord came with many thousands of his holy ones to execute judgment upon all, to convict all the ungodly of all their ungodly deeds which they have done, their ungodly ways, the harsh things which the ungodly sinners have spoken. This is what he preached. It wasn't a comfortable thing listening to Enoch preaching. He walked with God. And I tell you, a man who walks with God will preach against sin. He'll preach judgment on sinners. He's not going to be like these preachers who study psychology and make people comfortable in their sin. So that's the first type of person. Do you want to be like that? Preaching against sin and pleasing God. The second person was Elijah. And the Bible says in the last verse of Malachi, Malachi chapter 4, it says in verse 5, I'm going to send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and terrible day of the Lord. And when John the Baptist came, they asked Jesus, is this the Elijah? They knew it was not literally Elijah, but someone who was coming in the spirit of Elijah. In fact, it was prophesied of John that he would come in the spirit of Elijah, and he did. Jesus said, if you accept him, if you Jews accept him and his message, then he is Elijah. But they didn't accept him. So, listen, in the last days, there's going to be, God is going to send the pro this people of the spirit of the prophet Elijah, and that is the New Testament church. It's not a person now. It's not one individual like Old Covenant. It's a body of people. That's Elijah. The last days Elijah is a body of people who come with the spirit of John the Baptist saying, prepare the way of the Lord. Turn from sin. Make the crooked things in your life straight. Who come with the spirit of Elijah who stood on Mount Carmel and said, if Jehovah is God, worship him. If Baal is God, worship him. But don't be wishy-washy. And the body of Christ in the last days, the spirit of Elijah will say, if Christ is God, follow him. If money is God, serve that. But don't try and mix the two. If you're going to live for God, live for God. If you're going to live for the world, live for the world. But God is no place for lukewarm people. Because you're lukewarm, I'll spit you out of my mouth. Be cold or be hot. That's the spirit of Elijah. Would stand before kings and not be afraid. That's what we learned from Elijah. The two people who were raptured.